position. Go ahead and take your seat that is going to be most comfortable for you and your body. Let your hands relax onto your body in any way that will allow for your shoulders and your neck to feel comfortable. And then either keep your eyes in a, in a soft gaze or close the eyelids altogether. And then just pause for presence. Taking a moment to bring your attention into your body by noticing the places where you're touching the earth. Noticing the way that your clothes feel on your body, the temperature of the air, and how it feels on the skin of your face. And now tune into your breath. The breath is very special. The breath is the essence of life. Noticing your essence as it moves in and out. And what I want you to do is just travel, travel with the breath wherever it goes in your body and just notice where you feel it. Maybe it's in the belly, the ribs, the upper lip, the chest. Allowing your loving attention to be on the sensation of breath. And then I'd like you to bring your palms together in front of your heart. And just affirm to yourself now that you are going to do your practice of yoga. Yoga means to connect, to unite. You might consider what it is you want to connect with tonight. What do you want to yoke? And then we'll chant home oh, one time. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Oh. Bow your chin, release your hands down, flutter open your eyes, just taking in the earth, and then lift your gaze. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Let's take the arms up, big breath in. And then on the exhale, we're going to bring the left hand to the earth, side bend. And then inhale back through center and exhale to the right. So let's go back and forth a few times, just starting to warm up the body. Let your movements be, feel good movements for you tonight. There's no goal in mind here other than to just feel good. To relax your body, release tension, release stress, to let go of anything in this moment that you want to let go of. Do one more on each side. And then coming back to center, let's join the palms together, bring them right back down to the heart space. Okay. And then let your hands rest onto your legs comfortably. And we'll start to do a little bit of movement for the neck and the shoulders. So picture a little pencil at the tip of your nose. And you're just going to draw some nice big circles in the air with the tip of your nose. 
So your circles, they can be really big as I suggested, but if you're feeling kind of achy in the neck, um, you just honor that. It's okay to feel a little achy, a little sore. So maybe your circles are not so big. Maybe they're a little smaller because that feels more comfortable. Then we'll go ahead and reverse. Let's take our circles in the opposite direction. Just getting into the front of the throat and the back of the neck. Maybe noticing where you're feeling this in the sides of the neck too. And come on back to center. And you'll take your left arm out to the side. You're going to rotate the thumb so it points down. And then take the take arm the behind your back. And then see if you can grab a hold of the fingertips with your other hand. So you're, you're kind of clasping your hands together in such a way, or maybe holding, holding hands with yourself behind you. And then just gently guiding the left forearm around the back waist, just until you feel maybe a little stretch right in here or maybe around the front of the shoulder. Okay. And then make sure that you're sitting up nice and tall and you're gonna drop your head over towards the right. And as the head drops towards the right, Try and soften your shoulders a little bit and just breathe. Okay, and again, the neck is such a sensitive area, the shoulders too. So if you're feeling sharp pain or pinch, ease out of it a little bit and just trust, trust that there is something happening. Even if we're not going to what we know to be our normal range of movement or normal movement abilities. Okay. Stress can really show up in so many different ways in the body. Feelings and emotions and thoughts. So we're going to bring the head back up to center and let's just take that arm out to the side and up. And then you're going to rotate the palm so it faces behind you and then bend the elbow and just take the hand to the back of the shoulder. And you'll use your right hand and, and just gently press. So now we're just giving the arm a stretch in the opposite direction. Maybe you might feel it here or, or somewhere around here. If it's comfortable, more comfortable to hold the back of the head with your left hand, you can do that too. I always find that's kind of nice. It's, like um, resting your head on the headrest in your driver's seat when you're driving. One more breath. And then go ahead and release the arm down. And then just give it a little shake. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. And then we'll switch the cross of the legs. Bring the other shin in front and sit up nice and tall. We're going to take the right arm out to the side and start with rotating the palm to face down. And you're going to take the arm behind your back, find the hand with your right hand or left hand together. And you might kind of gently guide. I find interlacing the fingers can be quite comfortable too. Um, okay, until then, letting your shoulders relax, you're going to drop your head over towards the left. And now we're just inviting in a nice stretch into the right side of your, your neck and your shoulder. And just taking a moment to breathe. Just breathe. Sometimes that's all we can do is just breathe in the most, uh, I don't know, overwhelming situations. one more breath 
And then we'll bring the head to center. We're gonna release our hands. Let's take that left arm all the way up. Uh, by left, I mean right. <laughs> We're gonna rotate the palms out faces behind you and then go ahead and bend. And again, you can hold the back of the head or you can hold, tap the back of the shoulder. You'll use your left hand just to um, help facilitate a little bit more stretch if you want, gently pressing back. Just breathing, just go to where you feel a stretch. Taking a few breaths here. And then gently release. We're gonna shake it up. And then let's shake out both arms. Just give them a nice big shake. Shake the hands too. Get all the fingers, everything nice and shaken out. <laughs> Good. Ah, all right, now let's come onto our hands and our knees. And we're gonna make our way into tabletop position. And we'll go right into some cat-cow movement. So with your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, on your next inhale, let's lift our heart, our head, and our tailbone, moving into cow pose. It's beautiful. And then let's exhale and round. Let the head drop, let the tailbone drop. Good, inhale again to lift and lengthen through the front of your body. Exhale to round and release through the back of your body. Good. Take a few more there on your own, just working into some nice movement of your spine. Very good. And then let's come on back to tabletop pose. Neutral pose. Uh-huh, and you're gonna make your way now into a downward facing dog. You're gonna curl your toes under, lift your hips, press the earth away. And then move here in any way that you want to, that would just feel nice for your legs, for your back, for your hips. Just letting your head be heavy so you get some nice traction in the neck. Beautiful. And then from here, you're gonna look forward. You're gonna walk your feet forward. So you're gonna come all the way to the front edge of your mat. And you'll be in a standing forward fold there at the front edge. And just hang out here for a moment. Feel free to grab hold of opposite elbows if you want. Finding nice, even distribution of weight in your feet. Yeah, a little sway side to side. Just getting a nice little forward fold in your spine. Let your breath be nice and full and meaningful, purposeful. Think of filling up your back ribs with breath. Filling up all the way up into the neck, the head with breath. And then go ahead and let your arms be heavy. And you're going to roll up nice and slow. Push down into your feet. Start to roll your way all the way up to a standing pose. Good. And then once we're up, we're gonna stand with attention, tall, awake, open-hearted, with a reflective open mind, just standing nice and tall, present, steady, mountain pose. And then on your next inhale, take your arms out to the side and up, reach up nice and tall, take the full breath to bring the arms all the way up, 
And then as you exhale, release. Come down into a forward fold again. Take your full exhale to come down. Take your time, there's no rush. And then on your next inhale, you're gonna look forward, bend your knees, plant your palms, step just your right leg back. Can you see my leg? There you go. Yep, step in your right leg back. And then you're gonna lower your right knee down to the earth, either to the floor or to a blanket if you need, and then uncurl your toes. As you inhale, you're gonna reach your arms up again, lift yourself up, Lean back, open up your chest in a low lunge. Anjanasana. Good, deep breath here. Stay here and breathe. Just feeling the steadiness of your legs, the openness of your heart, the richness of your breath, the essence of life. And then exhale and go ahead and bring your arms all the way back down to the earth. And you're gonna curl your back toes under, straighten through your back leg. Mm -hmm. and you're gonna come into a twist. So your right hand stays on the earth and you're gonna open up towards your left side. Good, breathe. Nice. And then take that left hand down to the ground and let's step the right foot forward. Okay, coming all the way to the top of the mat. Take a nice breath in here, lift your chest, reach it forward, and then exhale and fold. And just hang out here for a moment, just breathing. Good, you're doing great. Nice. And now this time, use the inhale to come all the way up to stand. Circle those arms out to the side. Lift up, look up, open the chest, lean back maybe. And then exhale and bring your hands to your heart center. Good, we've got one more side. Inhale, circle the arms out to the side and up. Breathe deep. Exhale and fold, coming all the way down. As you inhale, lift your heart, bend your knees, look forward, and then step your left leg back this time. You're gonna lower your left knee to the earth. Uncurl the toes, and then inhale, reach up. And as you take your arms up, maybe the palms come together. Stay here and breathe. Anjanasana, go lunge. Just embodying the shape for a moment. Just feeling in the body as you breathe. Good, on your next exhale, take the hands back down to the earth. You're gonna set up the spinal twist. So curl your toes, straighten your back leg. Your left hand stays on the ground and then you open to the right side, your right arm comes up. Twisting, breathing. Your right hand comes back down to the earth. Now this time you're gonna step your right leg back. So we're gonna come into a plank. Uh-huh. And then you'll make your way into a downward facing dog. Good. Hips go up. Just breathe. Good. Good, nice deep breath in. Good. And now let your knees come down to the earth and shift your hips back and just rest for a moment in a little child's pose. Just letting your, your hips be heavy for a moment, your arms relaxed, letting your head drop. Beautiful. Good. And now come on forward to tabletop and you're gonna swing your legs around and come to sit onto the bum. And then you're gonna lower down onto your back. Lying down. And let's have our feet about the distance of the hips. With our arms down by our sides, setting up for bridge pose. I want you to take an inhale and lift your hips up. 
pushing your feet down into the earth. Now you can keep your shoulder blades apart if you want, or you might want to enjoy a little bit more of a stretch in the chest. Maybe you roll your shoulder heads underneath, bringing the shoulder blades together. Make sure you're squeezing the glutes, pushing down into the feet evenly. Relax your eyes, cheeks, your facial muscles. And one more breath. And then come all the way down. Nice exhale, releasing. Beautiful. And now take your left knee in towards your body. And stay here for a moment. Single knee to chest pose. Feel free to circle that left ankle around a few times in one direction and then the other. Nice. And then let's take the left ankle and place it on top of the right leg. So we're going to set up a thread the needle and allow the knee to open up out to the side. Flex the foot. And then if you'd like, you can keep the legs just as they are. If you're already getting a really nice stretch here, just stay right where you are. Or you can bring the knees in close and hold on to the back of that right leg. Good, nice little rocking side to side is always very pleasant for me. I just want you to hold this stretch here. Hold this stretch for about 30 seconds. It's a nice release for your hips. If you're feeling particularly tight, Perhaps in the back of your mind, you whisper the words, let go. Let go, let go. And then let's release. We'll set both feet down onto the mat. And we'll do the same thing now on the right. So the right knee comes in. We're going to stay here for a moment and just roll the ankle a couple of times in one direction and then the other. And spreading the toes. Get a nice release. It's really good. Really nice. And then we'll take the right ankle and we're going to place it onto the left leg now. And gently opening the right hip, getting a glute stretch. And as you're ready to, hugging knees in towards the body, holding onto the back of the left leg. Finding comfort in your shoulders, head and neck, relaxing the facial muscles. Taking a few deep breaths and then just allowing your breath to come. Just letting the breath be as gentle, as easy, as natural as it wants to be now. I'm just holding this here. And then as you're ready to, go ahead and release, setting both feet back down. And just taking a pause for a moment, letting your, your legs just be as they are. Just gently resting in a nice, natural position. And then go ahead and take your feet wider, about as wide as your mat. And let your knees drop to the right. And then just sink in there for a moment. Okay. Hang out here. This is a simple twist. You can hang out here if you'd like. Sometimes it's nice to place the right foot on top of the left leg. And just adding a little extra weight to help the body release. Might be nice. And I want you to just notice your breathing again. Notice where you feel the breath. Travel with it. 
go along with it. Let it be as gentle, as natural, as easy, as pleasant or unpleasant as it wants to be. And go ahead and placing the right foot back down, letting your knees come back to center. Just pause for a moment, breathe. And then as you're ready to, let's do the other side, knees to the left. Finding your way to this nice little twist, placing the left foot on the right leg if that calls to you, if it sounds like the right thing to do in this moment is trusting, trusting in your body, trusting in your heart. It knows what it needs and it knows what to do. Gently coming back to center. Just bringing everything back to center. And I want you to just pause for a moment. Just taking a breath in. And then go ahead and hug your knees in towards your body. Gently rock a little side to side. Good. And now from here, you're going to let your feet come down to the earth. And you'll take your right arm up alongside your ear. And then go ahead and roll to your right side. You might pause for a moment, pausing for peace. And then as you're ready to, you're going to press yourself up. Come on up to a seat. And I want you to come into a comfortable seated position once again. We're gonna do a few seated postures, some seated forward folds. So you're gonna start by taking the legs out in front of you. In uh, Dandasana, this is staff pose. Okay, you'll bring your hands um, right next to your hips. Got that nice, proud feeling in your heart, not rigid in your body, but feeling tall, feeling present. And then from here, I want you to go ahead and hold onto the left knee. I'm gonna bend the knee. And we're gonna come into a sage twist. So you're gonna to start to turn towards that left leg and then wrap your arms around it. You can interlace the fingers here if you want. Or if you need a little support from the earth, then take that left hand and bring it back behind you. Use it as a little support here. Stay nice and tall in your spine. Take a moment to just breathe. And sage twist. And then gently go ahead and release. And you're going to let that left knee fall out to the side. So we set up for head to knee pose. <clears throat> you might want to take your, your sit bones back a little bit. You feel that tailbone moving down towards the earth, that tall feeling in your spine again. You're going to inhale and take your arms up. And then turn a little bit so that your heart is right in line with your toes. It's a little rotation. 
and then go ahead and fold. Coming down only as far as feels comfortable. Taking a gentle stretch. Good. Just letting the head drop, letting the chin drop. Just breathing. And then inhale and start to come all the way back up to center. You're going to take your arms up and take a big breath in. And then exhale and release. Maybe you bring your hands to your heart. Good. And now go ahead and take that left knee in towards your body. And straighten the leg back out again. Coming back into staff pose. Taking a nice breath here. And then we'll come right to the other side. So you're going to bend your right knee. And we're going to move right into the sage twist. So you're going to be turning towards the right now. Staying nice and tall. You can clasp a hold of your hands again or take your right hand back behind you and use it as a little extra support. And you're going to want to let your hips just follow along with the rotation of your spine. Um, I find with my sacrum and my lower back, when it comes to twisting, if I don't fix my hips in space, if I just let them move wherever my spine wants to rotate, then they tend to feel a little better. So relax your hips. Let's come on back to center. And we're going to let that right knee fall out to the side. We're going to take an inhale and bring the arms up. And we're going to rotate just a little bit. So we're turning towards that uh, left leg. And then folding. Folding in head to knee pose. Just breathe. And then gently, we're going to come all the way back up. And we'll go ahead and straighten both legs out, coming back into staff pose. Just for a moment, breathing presence. And we're moving now into seated forward fold. I take the arms up, big breath in. And then as you exhale, go ahead and fold. Coming down. Coming down into the deep seated forward fold. The word deep is used subjectively. Depends on who's on the inside, who's feeling it. Letting the head be nice and heavy. And just again, tuning into your breath, that beautiful breath flowing in and out. slowly make our way all the way back up to a seat. Okay, and now go ahead and cross your legs comfortably. And we're going to move into a practice for observing the breath. And so when we observe the breath, all we are doing is observing the breath in its natural way. We're not trying to control the breathing at all. We're not um, lengthening the inhale or the exhale at all. We're just letting the breath be just as it is. And we are observing it wherever we feel the breath the most in the body. So that might be one of the easiest places to feel it, I find, is right at the nostrils, where you can feel the air moving in and out. Or it could be the upper lip, um, 
for some, the belly, the chest, the ribs. There's lots of places in the body where we can feel it, but it's important that you find the place in your body where you are able to connect your attention and your focus best. And as we observe the breath, we're going to be observing the breath for five minutes. And uh, you'll find during the practice that there'll be lots of thoughts that will come in and take your attention away from your, your breath. And so a very helpful tip when you observe the thought, ask yourself in the moment, is it important? The answer is going to be yes and no, yes or no. If it's important, then say, I will come back to you later, and then let that thought go, because right now you're focusing on your breathing. If the thought is not important, then just let it go. Okay. So I'm gonna keep the time a little timer. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall, finding that sense of relaxation in your body so you don't feel rigid. Um, you feel soft and relaxed. And we begin. And I'll be doing this practice with you.
gently and gradually open up your eyes. Oh, feel free to move in any way here. That would feel good. Taking a little forward fold, reaching the arms. If you want to stretch your legs out, just move. Okay. Now we are going to move into our loving kindness meditation, Metta. Metta is a very old meditation practice. It's been around for a long time in the Buddhist traditions of, of Vipassana. And um, Metta, it means loving kindness. It also means compassion. And it's one of the practices that has helped to um, transcend suffering in people for thousands and thousands of years. And so I find it more comfortable for me to practice lying down. Um, you can also stay seated if you prefer. Um, but what's most important is that you don't fall asleep. <laughs> so if you choose to lie down, <laughs> just Affirm to yourself, I'm going to stay awake. I'm doing my metta meditation. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stay seated as I guide you, but if you want to lay down now, you can. And just make yourself really comfortable. Hi, Moose. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, so just making yourself very, very comfortable. Relaxing, supporting, yeah, support your legs, support your head, whatever you need. And then go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. Hold the breath when you get to the top. And then let it go. Letting the breath go. Just feeling that relaxation in your body as you exhale. And now we're going to start our loving kindness meditation with ourself. And so I'd like you to bring an image of yourself to mind. You can picture yourself as you are today, here and now. Or you can picture perhaps yourself as a child, just allowing any image of yourself to come to mind. And then you're going to repeat this phrase. May I be happy. May I be safe. May I be at peace. May I be free from suffering. May I be happy. May I be safe. May I be at peace. May I be free from suffering. So take time now to repeat those phrases. Just repeating as you keep an image of yourself in mind. May I be happy. May I be safe. May I be at peace. May I be free from suffering.
And now I'd like to ask you to expand, expand your loving kindness to each other, to our little virtual yoga session tonight. May we be happy. May we be safe. May we be at peace. May we be free from suffering. Just extending your kindness to me as I extend my loving kindness and compassion to you. May we be safe. May we be happy. May we be at peace. May we be free from suffering. And now I will ask you to extend your kindness a little bit more, just widening the lens to the broader community. So allowing friends and family to come to mind, coworkers, neighbors, other fellow yogis, loved ones, significant others. extending loving kindness. May they be happy. May they be peaceful. May they be safe. May they be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be safe. May they be peaceful. May they be free from suffering. And now finally, we're going to expand our practice one more time. And we're gonna expand it now to the broader community. And this broad community includes everybody, all sentient beings, plants, animals, humans, all humans, considering also extending towards those who are difficult, who challenge our own abilities to love unconditionally, those who we may find challenged to accept or even understand. May we find it within ourselves 
to extend love and kindness. So now may all be happy. May all be safe. May all be at peace. May all be free from suffering. May all of us be happy. May all of us be safe. May we all be at peace. May we all be free from suffering and pain. Extending this now to the whole planet. Just going as far as your eyes and heart can see. All the countries, forests, oceans, Sending this love to the air, the earth, the water, the stars, the sun, and the moon. Expanding beyond the earth into all known and unknown galaxies. gently, gradually bring your attention into your body, just feeling your fingers and toes, give them a little wiggle, allowing your, your head to turn a little side to side, gently, 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 gently waking yourself up from your, your practice, coming back. And then go ahead and stretch your arms and stretch your body and give thanks. Give thanks. It's expressing deep gratitude towards anything that comes to mind that you are so appreciative of. It could be the first thing you see or the first thing you feel. And then join me in your seated posture once again with your palms together. And we will close our practice this evening with an om. Nice breath in. Oh. Namaste. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you being here and doing your practice. It, it means a lot. It's a huge contribution to the energy of the planet. Thank you for taking such good care. And thank you for sharing it with me. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful evening. You too. I'm happy I got to see Moose. <laughs> he made his little appearance tonight. <laughs> He usually does. <laughs> Good night. Good night.